and in the rest of your health. In the previous class, we learned about tense. What is a tense? It's a form of a verb that tells us when an action has taken place or has taken place or will take place. So in the previous class, we learned about the different types of tenses. The present tense, the past tense and the future tense. Then we learned about the verbs, the root form of the verb, its past tense, its past participle, the three persons, first person, second person, third person, and two numbers, singular and plural. Then we saw the ways of writing a sentence in the simple present. So today we will do the second one, the present continues. Present continuous. Okay, now let us make two columns. Here we have singular, plural. Okay, first person, second person, third person. First person, I. It's plural, we. Second person, singular, you. Plural, you. Third person, he. She, it, it's plural, they. Okay, now, in the present continuous, we will be taking the help of some helping verbs. Helping verbs such as am, is, are, has, have, etc. These are called as helping verbs. Helping verbs or they are also known as auxiliary verbs. We are trying to learn how to write a sentence in a present continuous tense or how to identify a sentence whether it's in simple present or present continuous or in the other forms. So now, we take the help of this, these helping verbs such as am, is, are, has, have, etc. So here we will be taking now in the continuous. Continuous means action is going on and we add ing to the root form of the verb. For example, for do, we add ing. So it makes doing. That means the action is going or not yet complete. So the helping words that we will be taking here are I, first one will be am, we, are, you, are, you, are, he, she, it, is, here. Keep this in mind. Is and they are. These are the helping words that will be used in a present continuous tense. And which form of verb? You add ing to the root form of the verb. Let's take the verb do. Let's take the verb do. So here we add ing and we get doing. So here will be I am doing. We are doing. You are doing. You are doing. He, she, it is doing, they are doing. So everywhere the verb remains with ing that shows the action is going on, the continuous. The only thing that you need to know is the helping verbs which are used in the three different persons in singular and plural. In the first person, Singular we use am. Second person plural are. Sorry. First person plural are. Second person plural are. Same here. And in the case of third person singular, we can use is. So this way we can write a sentence in a present continuous tense. And if this sort of structure are there, or these type of sentences are there, so they are in the present continuous. Tense. Let's take the other verb. Think about a verb. 
Let's take right, okay? The right. Right. So what would be the continuous form of right? And ing? Writing. So what do you have here? I am writing. We are writing. You are writing. You are writing. And he, she, it is writing. Then we have they are writing. Do you get it? ing to the root form of the verb, which is there. And we have a sentence in the present continuous tense. Clear? Now let's move ahead to the next one that will be the present perfect. So these are the helping verbs, okay? Let's take the present perfect. The third one, the present perfect tense. In the present perfect tense, we once again make use of the helping verbs. We make use of the helping verbs and we use the past participle of the root verb. For example, in the previous verb we had write. Okay, and we have do also. These are the root forms. So the past will be wrote. And the past participle written. Likewise for do, did, past participle, done. For the verb eat, ate, eaten. Okay? For the verb sing, sang, sung. So, in the present perfect tense, we use the past participle of the root verb. Clear or not clear? We use the past participle. And the helping verb also changes. Now, in the present perfect tense, we use the helping verbs. That is, I have, we have, you have, you have. Here, he, she, it has. Here we have has. Keep this in mind. Here we have has. And here, everybody is doing the same. Have. Then, which form of the verb? The past participle of the given verb. So in the previous example, we have write. So here what will be the past participle? I have for write. The past tense is wrote. The past participle is written. So we have write, wrote, written. So we use the past participle. So here we have I have written. We have written. You have written. You have written. He, she, it has. It stays the same. Written. They have written. Okay? What are the things that you should keep in mind? The past participle of the given verb is used in the present perfect and we take the helping verbs such as have, have, have and we use has in third person singular. Now let's change the verb for do. Past participle, do, did, done. So what will be here? I have done. We have done. You have done. You have done. He, she, it has done. They have done. Past party, sequel. Now take the other verb. Eat. What is the past participle for eat? Eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Got it? So what will be there? I have eaten. You have, sorry, we have eaten. 
you have eaten, you have eaten, he, she, it has eaten, they have eaten. That is in the past participle of this structure for present perfect tense. Are you following? Now let us go to the last one. The last one will be the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous, the fourth one. Okay? The helping verbs remain the same as in the present perfect. And here we have the word continuous, which means ing. We add ing to the given verb. And to write the sentence in present perfect continuous tense, we may be take the help of another helping verb such as be. Everywhere we use be. Okay? And since it is continuous tense, present perfect continuous, we add ing to the root form of the verb. So we have here in the present perfect continuous tense, I have been writing. We have been writing. You have been writing. You have been writing. He, she, it has been writing. And they have been writing. And same will be there for other verbs. Like for play. What would be the continuous for play? Playing. So, I have been playing football. We have been playing football. You have been playing basketball. You have been playing basketball. He has been playing cricket. She has been playing throwball. And they have been playing volleyball. All these are in the present perfect continuous tense. The only thing that you should keep in mind in the present perfect continuous tense is that we use the people's have and add been and add ing to the root form of the word since it is the continuous tense. So this way we complete the four structures, the four forms under the present tense. What are they? The simple present Present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous tense. In the simple present, what is the thing that you should keep in mind? In the third person singular, the verb takes S, like eat, eats, write, writes, sing, sings. Everywhere, in the other cases, the verb remains the same. And in the continuous, present continuous, we take the help of the helping verbs or the auxiliary verbs and add ing to the root form of the verb and write it in all the three different persons, singular and plural. And in the case of present perfect, we use the past participle of the root verb. Helping verb remains the same. Also, the changes here have, 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 except. For third person singular, what do you use? Has. And in the present perfect continuous, what happens? We add B and add ING. Got it? Now let us try to do a simple exercise. Okay, this is the sentence. She is playing. In which tense is it? Present. She is playing. Present continuous. She is a third person helping her here. So this is in the present continuous. Present continuous. Now let us change this sentence. Okay, let us change this sentence. She is playing, which is in the present continuous into three other forms. Let's take the first one. Simple present. What happens in the simple present? Since it is a third person singular, the verb takes S. So what do we have? We'll be having she 
plays. Okay, she plays. So if you have a sentence like she plays, it is the simple present. You already have the present continuous. Now what is love? The next one, present perfect. In the present perfect, what do you use? The past party simple and the helping verbs. Present perfect, what will happen? Third person is there, we will have read as this, she, which helping verb will you use? Has. Has, past participle of play, played. She has played. Got it? What is left now? The next one, present perfect, continuous. Present perfect continuous. What do you do? It remains the same. same. She helping for remains the same. Has. What do you do now? And be. She has been. And since it is present perfect continuous, I end it to the verb. She has been playing. She has been playing. See? The sentence which you have in the present continuous, you have transformed it to the simple present. The verb takes as she plays. In the present perfect, we take the help of the helping verbs of the auxiliary verb and use the past participle of the root verb. Therefore, we have she has played. In the present perfect continuous, the helping verb remains the same. We add B and add ing to the root verb and we have a sentence in present perfect continuous. Let's take another example to the last one to make it clear. I have done my Work, which is the verb done. Okay, so done is the past participle of do. Do, did, done. Since we have used the past participle and we have a helping verb have, though it's the first person, this sentence is in which form? Present perfect. Present perfect. Got it? Now let us transform, change them into other forms. We'll take a simple present. Present. We have the same thing. I. Simple present is the root form of the verb. What is the root form of done? Do. I do my work. Understood? Next one, present continuous. Okay, the sentence seems to be the same pronoun. I in the continuous helping verb. First person, I, what do you use? Am. I am continuous, what do you do? To the verb, am I n g. I am doing my work. This is in the present continuous. We already have the present perfect. What is that now? Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. What happens in the present perfect continuous? The Helping verb remains the same, only we add B and ING. So we have the sentence I have been, this is the format, what? ING continues doing my work. Understood? So these are the ways where we can transform, or these are the Ways to learn or to know 
or how to write the sentence in different forms of present and how to recognize in which tense a particular sentence is in. So the rules and regulations or any instruction that I have told you, please keep that in mind and it's going to be very very simple for you. Okay, this much for today. We'll do the rest in the next class. Okay, good day. Thank you.